Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Time for another cryptocurrency video. Kind of, sorta. This is going to be a kind of different kind of video. Kibono. Kibono is a Latin term. Some people, some people out there know what it means. Um, it means who benefits. It's a question that is asked when you're trying to figure out who benefits from a particular event. Uh, in this case, I'm, I'm still thinking about the whole BitConnect thing. Everything over the last couple of you know, days, I've just been rolling this around in my head over and over again. Does it make sense that BitConnect on the eve of its second greatest project that they would just decide to turn around and destroy in one single moment the brand name that they have built over the last two years. Why would they destroy their brand name, BitConnect, wreck anybody, wreck everyone's confidence in anything with the BitConnect name. BitConnect X, the, the ICO had only launched a, a few days before. People were buying the, the tokens and they were selling out. Everything was going good. And then all of a sudden they say, okay, you know what? We're just going to screw everybody and just destroy anybody's confidence and wreck anything and, and wreck any reason for anybody to buy the token. Now, some people have said, okay, well, BitConnect X is just a, uh, it's an exit scam. In my experience, an exit scam looks like, you know, okay, boom, it's just 404, you know. Uh, attack the site just disappears but you know as as we've seen the site is still up so i'm i always look for the deeper narrative when something doesn't make sense i notice something else going on behind the scenes which brings us to this article here i was looking uh around i found this this guy's article on on uh steam And this guy, he he's explaining that he's always been very curious. He's always been taking things apart and trying to figure out how uh, things work. And so, let's see. He's let's see. He said he says in his article, whatever crypto coin you believe in, have invested, and in, I think we can all agree that we want it to succeed and grow long into the future. I know I do. And this is why I've come to the conclusion that the case of BitConnect is extremely serious. If BitConnect is a scam, the effects of its demise would be so great that I believe it would lead to the very excuse governments need to impose heavy regulations and restrictions on the cryptocurrency space. This would, at the very least, destroy the flow and enthusiasm of this exciting and uh, world-changing market. I came to this conclusion after I watched this video uh, below. I'm sure everyone has seen this video. I don't need to play it. Can anyone else see, see what I see here? When I saw this video, of which there are two others, I felt it was a turning point in the history of BitConnect. Young people dancing, singing a message of financial freedom if you invest in BitConnect. BitConnect have crossed the moral line here. Of course, all scams cross the line, but this, if BitConnect is a scam, it will not only be the financially greedy who will lose and can probably afford to lose, but this time it will be our children and our grandchildren. The effect of this could be, uh, 
could be cause serious emotional trauma. This is what he says. Uh, they could cause serious emotional trauma with some possibly being led to commit suicide. If the people behind BitConnect decided to close down and run off with the money, that's $600 million. Can anyone doubt that the government would not use this as an opportunity to attack Bitcoin? This is why I spent the entire week investigating everything I can about BitConnect to find out what exactly it is. There are only two choices. It is either the biggest scam in history or it is a genius revolutionary investment opportunity. I'm currently working on a post to tell the results of my investigation. We'll be posting soon. Now, but that's, that's intriguing. Now, that's an intriguing thing to consider. What if this, this entire event, what if it was sabotage? What if it was a false flag? What if it was like a CIA PSYOP operation? Now, of course, I mean, people who are in the conspiracy milieu, uh, the truthers movement, uh, free thinkers, whatever, whatever you want to call them, we are familiar with the term false flag. False flag is um, something happened. You think that it's, it's one person, but it's actually somebody else, but the other person gets blamed. Let's put on our let's put on our our tinfoil hats. Um, the statement that BitConnect had released about why they were shutting down the platform at the bottom here it says uh, after the cease and desist letters from the states of Texas and North Carolina it says outside forces have performed DDoS attacks on the, plat on the platform several times, and have made it clear that these, uh, that these will continue. These interruptions in service have made the platform unstable and have created more panic inside the community. That is also in the wake of you know, bad press. I call, I call this the propaganda campaign. But let's 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 continue. Uh, who who are these outside forces? You know, Jamie Dimon says a lot of things. Uh, Jamie Dimon, the president of um, J.P. Morgan, the CEO, he says a lot of things I disagree with. Of course, you know, Bitcoin's a fraud and all that. But he did say something that I do agree with. He said that, you know. Uh, he said that Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, he said that no government is going to put up with it for long. And this is something that I do agree with. So key bono. Who benefits if BitConnect fails? Or if Bitcoin fails? It's certainly not, it's certainly not BitConnect, the owners of BitConnect. So they wouldn't benefit from this stuff. I think that this is an attack from, as, as the BitConnect people say, from outside forces. What's my evidence for this? Okay, let's take a look. Number one, what is, what is a DDoS attack? Uh, let's go to, um, what, this, is the, this is the service that, um, BitConnect uses, it's a uh, Cloudflare. Cloudflare defines what a DDoS attack is. Hold on a second. Cloudflare says, a DDoS attack, a distributed denial of service, is an attack that seeks to make an online service unavailable to end its users. It can do this by using multiple machines to force a site to consume 
more resources than it has as available to it. Therefore, le therefore leading to user requests being denied. These resources can be anything from CPU cycles to consuming all the bandwidth available to a site. In some cases, these attacks are launched to extort money out of the site administrator. Um, in his last video, uh, Crypto Rob said something that was I, I thought was interesting. I think it's this one, yeah. He says that uh, a DDoS attack would be very uh, expensive to run. Who is it that we know of that has basically an unlimited supply of funding when it comes to like black ops, the CIA? In Crypto Rob's video on uh, DDoS attacks, he, he he shows us this site. This is this uh, this is a good resource. This is uh, the uh, Norse Corp. The Norse Corp um, DDoS attack map. And usually it's all pretty and it's all lit up. Let's see. <laughs> it's not right now. Hold on. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Okay, so this is what so this is what a DDoS attack looks like looks like on the on the DDoS attack attack map at noise at noisecom.com. I'll put a link in the description. But the when we look down here on attack origins, what we see here at the top of the list at any given time is the United States. Key bono. Who would benefit from carrying out a DDoS attack on, on BitConnect? And uh, here, the, uh, the number of DDoS attacks is, is rising coming from the United States. I think the United States benefits, the United States government benefits from a DDoS attack on the United States. Is there still, the question is, there, is there still a DDoS attack on BitConnect? I say the answer is yes. And what is the remedy to uh, a DDoS attack. What what is it that BitConnect would be doing if this was in fact the case? Uh, if we go to I'm under D DDoS attack, what to do? You turn on uh, I'm under attack mode, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And what we do, we, we come down to step number eight: customize the challenge pages. Now, what is a challenge page? A challenge page looks like. A challenge page looks like this. So whenever you try to access the BitConnect site, you always get this. You get a CAPTA. You know, to enter the page. And whenever you switch the pages on BitConnect, you get you get a CAPTA page. You get a challenge page. Now this is the protocol that you do when you're under a DDoS attack. And this obviously shows that they still have their have their settings on. Now, all this is quite silly, is quite, is quite ridiculous if, if there wasn't the DDoS attack. And by the way, the site's still up. So this is not a typical exit scam, as people keep claiming. I've never seen an exit scam like this. The site just disappears. Everybody knows this. Come on. Where is uh, Orem Bank? Where is uh, Bitpetit? Where is... Uh, control finance, they're gone. Yet BitConnect is still here. And they're still trying to proceed with their BitConnect X exchange. I'm sorry. Scamming everybody and screwing everything up just doesn't make any logical sense. This is my position. And if it doesn't make sense, I know that there's a deeper narrative here. So this is basically all I wanted to say. See, the site's still here. And if you're trying to get into, like, say, the exchange or other websites, yeah, see, everything's working. And, and if you sit here long enough, 
you have to. Yeah, everything seems to be working all right now. But at a certain point, if you stay here long enough, you'll have to do the captive again. Anyway, so so to me, if BitConnect says that they're under DDoS attack, I believe them because they've initiated the protocol. It's still here, and there's no reason to continue the ruse. That's all I got to say. Um, okay, so I, I just want to get that off my chest. So with that, uh, until next time, YouTube, peace.